Hi everyone, my name's Liana. Um, I run a company called Anything Vocals, um, where I teach vocal lessons. Um, you've probably found this video through my blog. Uh, my blog basically giving you a tip every week um, to help you with your vocals. Um, a lot of people can't afford singing lessons, they're quite expensive, so I thought I'd give something for free. Um, not only to help you, but to help me as well to learn. So there'll be a link below to my blog if you haven't found this through my blog. Today I am going to go over some breathing technique. Um, it's the first thing to starting to get a really good vocal tone um, and control, so I'm going to start there. What I want to start with is telling you a bit about where we should be breathing from and why. So I'm going to take a step back so that you can see everything I'm doing. So you should be able to see my stomach. Um, what we're trying to do is breathe into our diaphragm, which is a muscle. Um, what we're trying not to do is breathe into our chest area. Um, the reason for this is that along our collarbone here, where we usually breathe into our lungs this way, we don't actually have a supportive muscle. So when we're trying to sing a whole line, when we get to the end of the line, we've got breath left, but we can't push it out because there's nothing there to push it out. Also, if you notice, if I pretend to breathe into my chest because I can't actually do it anymore, um, you'll see one area gets restricted in particular. So if I just take a deep breath in. All along my throat and along my collarbone, um, which is quite obvious really that I'm restricting my vocal cords because where are they? They're right here. Um, so instead, we, I'm going to teach you how to breathe into your diaphragm. It does take time, so you're going to have to watch this video probably a hundred times to get really bored of listening to me, um, but hopefully it will help. So what I'm going to start with um, is taking a deep breath in to where you probably naturally do it, which is into your shoulders, and try and push that air down into your diaphragm. Um, I've only recently come across this way of teaching it, and it seems to really work to actually find that first place. Um, so you take a deep breath in, so really slow, in through the nose if you can, if you've got blocked nose because it is that time of year, <laughs> in, through your, in through your mouth, in through your throat. Um, so we're going to take a deep breath in. So I move my chest, and what I'm going to do is relax my shoulders, and my belly will pop out. This is because I've dropped the air down into my diaphragm, so if you can't see that, I look a little bit pregnant. Dropped it down into my diaphragm. This is what we should be doing naturally anyway. It should be going straight to our diaphragm. It's better for us in life anyway. We can get taking more oxygen and our body lives off of oxygen. Um, so we don't actually want to do it that way though. We don't want to go to our chest and then go to our diaphragm. We want to go straight there. So after you've found where that place is, you should feel a slight tension around the diaphragm when you first start doing it. Um, it means you're going to the right place. After we've done that, what we want to do is possibly try lying on the floor with a book on our diaphragm, so just along here, um, and when we take deep breaths in we want to try and focus on that book, try and get our mind set that the air should be going all the way down to the book. So we'll be expanding our lungs and breathing in to our diaphragm. I want to show you just a quick sort of warm up technique to make sure that you're doing it correctly. What we're trying to do is make sure that our breath is controlled. A good way of testing that is on a shh noise. So we're going to take a deep breath in. Expand through the diaphragm, and we're going to do an even shush outwards. Shh. Now you should be able to do that for a bit longer. Um, also, you can try being a bit quieter, being a bit louder, and just test it. Just see how long you can go on for. This sort of breathing technique will help you on breathy songs, um, especially because you're using a lot more breath and you're controlling that breath coming out alongside a verse. Um, I'm gonna try it on a verse for you today. Um, it's of a Paramore song. I only have picked this one because I actually taught this to a student and she had a lot of trouble um, getting the breathiness on that verse. I and mean, she could belt for days, but she couldn't get the breathiness on the verse. So I'm just gonna show you an idea of how my breathing affects the softness of the verse into the chorus.
So hopefully that gave you an idea of how I, I don't know if you saw very much, but my obviously when I was trying to push the air slower, you could see the wrinkles kind of disappearing when I took a breath in and then slowly coming back again on my top. Um, I hope this helps you understand when people say you should be breathing into your diaphragm, the reasons why, and then hopefully you'll go home and try it. Next time I do one of these, I'm going to talk a little bit about different voices. So if you like this one, subscribe, and then next time you'll listen to more. Thanks. Bye.